from my vanity it looks like from a distance i bought it four years ago from home choice and this was the first thing i bought for myself when i started working i bought it for about 3800 rand i think if i'm not mistaken it is a bit small but then it still does serve its purpose however i just feel like i'm 25 now and i need something new something different and i'm just looking for something white and for the mirror i'm looking for a hollywood mirror because this one that i have at the moment doesn't have any light so i mostly rely on a bedside table light that i just pull through when i'm doing my makeup in the morning so let me just quickly give you an overview of the whole thing so here on top i have all my makeup brushes i bought these containers from mr Pryor's home they're actually not brush holders they are candle holders but then i think they're very cute and i love how they make the whole thing look like here so here i have all my beauty blenders um i have all my eyeshadow brushes and some spoolies for when i'm doing my brows here i have all the powder brushes and here i keep most of all my foundation brushes and this is the mirror that it is quite big and i do love it so let me just quickly open it for you guys okay so over there i just keep all my other body things so at the top shelf here i have all my perfumes roll on second one i have all my body lotions and on the last section i have all my hair products and on the other side okay here i also have some of more of my other hair products they are quite big hence why i'm keeping them over there um i have more hair products and some earbuds and at the bottom i have more hair products okay i think i might be addicted to having a lot of hair products but then i like taking care of my hair hence i have so many things okay let me close that for you and then over here i just have this acrylic container this is where i keep all my um lip pencils some of my favorite eyebrow pomade i this is my favorite one i recently got this from revolution um it is very nice and i like how it makes my brows look very natural it is in the color um let me just quickly see dark brown i think i bought it from clicks it was about 95 rand um this again another one um it's a eyebrow pencil i hardly use this anymore but then i still have it just in case yeah and everything else um another one that i have is this one i bought it from take a lot um it is dark brown but then i don't really like it that much but then i love it because i can use it to just fill my brows towards the end um it does give that nice dark color and i also have this to for applying my lashes i love this i bought it from miniso at the Glen. and yeah so i like keeping this over here in the corner and over here i have a mirror an led light mirror i bought this from take a lot as well and i use it to do my makeup um it is battery operated let me see if i can switch it on okay um okay it does switch on i think at the moment it doesn't have batteries i just need to buy some batteries and yeah i'm just lazy to go to the shops i mean we're under lockdown so yeah um since this lockdown started i've been very lazy to go to the shops but then i love this mirror um, it is two-sided. This is the normal side of the mirror and on the other side it is the magnified part of the mirror I use mostly use this side if I'm doing my brows if I just want like a quick and Precise close-up of my brows. So yeah, I love the other side just for doing that and I bought it for I think it was $1.99 um, I just have it linked below in the description for you guys just in case if you're interested in buying the same mirror and then before I open the drawer let me just quickly go to this chair oh okay so this whole thing just came as a set and it came with the chair as well this chair i love it because it does have extra storage so inside i just have all my miscellaneous things um this is why i keep all my products for doing my doing my nails um i have fans i use this for drying my setting spray after doing my makeup i have a power bank an extra one um i used to use this when i had sh when i had short hair to create that popcorn effect so i used this i bought it from i think also bought it from take a lot it was like 95 rand if i'm not mistaken i have this brush cleaning machine i bought this from a shop called 
perfect deals um it's near alex i bought it 425 rand i have this small matte thingy for cleaning my brushes i also have a bigger one um for cleaning my brushes as well and then um quickly fix that and then here i have my flawless facial hair remover um yeah i also bought it from take a lot i also have that linked um down below in the description i think i also have this linked in the description as well just in case if you guys want to buy it i really do love it for cleaning brushes um it is quick and efficient but then most of the time if i'm cleaning my brushes i just use the mat and i use this to um dry my brushes so that when i put them by the sun um they dry up a bit quickly so yeah so this is the chair I sit on when I do my makeup. And then now going into the drawers. Okay. So I don't really like buying a lot of makeup, you know. I just like having enough so that um, I have a variety of products at a certain time and use everything up. And if something runs out, then that's when I go and buy more stuff because having too much makeup I mean I always see youtubers um, on YouTube showing their beauty rooms they have so much makeup but I honestly think that they do not use all that makeup but mostly of them I mean they do receive PR packages so hence the reason why they have so much makeup I mean I buy my own makeup so I really don't see the need for me to have a lot of things that I'll end up not using so I um, will start over in this section here I keep all my eyeshadow palettes and setting spray so let me just show you quickly through a few of my favorites and um, this one is from Hemisa Flow Cosmetics by Mbali Sebapu um, my body was on sale it was 240 and the pigment of this eyeshadow is insane I really do love it um, I used it for the first time yesterday and I was happy um, with the colors of this quickly try and open it up for you guys so you can see how it looks like okay oh my god Oops. okay so this is how it looks like on the inside i mean look at those colors those colors are insane and as i said the pigment is very amazing my favorite color in here is the pink matte color um this one angel face and brow it those are my favorite matte, matte colors but then i do love the whole palette it is very 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 nice um i also leave her website linked in the description below just in case you guys want to go and purchase some of her products and here i have another i mean two of my other favorite ones these are from za cosmetics i mean look at these colors i love 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 these green colors i bought this from take it out it was 2.99 if i'm not mistaken and then i have another one by za cosmetics this is the blue one again i mean the colors oh my god just look at all those blue colors and the pigment in these again um is very insane and then here these ones these ones in the gray containers i bought them from identity i think i bought them a year ago these are not really my favorites they have a lot of shimmer products um which i hardly use but then i do love the variety of shimmer products that they have inside let's see here um here i have this one from this is not an eyeshadow palette it's a face palette from la girl it has see it has two blushes that's a bronzer as you can see i really love that bronzer i mean yeah it's rich all the way to the bottom of the pan and this is a highlighter i'm not a highlighter person so i've really never used that highlighter over there okay quickly put that back in um another one this one is also from la girl i hardly use this one but then i do love the colors they're very nice and subtle my favorite um are the pinks and the purples yeah i also do love this one but then i hardly use it and all these other ones are from revolution i love this for everyday use if i'm going to work and i want something simple the colors in here are very nice and beautiful yeah and it's also affordable i think i bought it for like 100 rand it clicks and then another one from revolution this was the first palette i bought from revolution i really 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 love this especially the black Oh my god this black is very amazing i love it but then i do love the whole palette the colors are amazing um okay another one from revolution 
um this one i bought i think last year if i'm not mistaken no i'm lying i bought it earlier this year i bought it for 250 again it clicks i mean look at the colors very nice neutral orangey colors that i love and it has more mats than it has. I mean, this has metallics. I really do love this one. And the last one that I have from Revolution is this one. Yeah. Again, the colors in this are very nice and beautiful. So, yeah. These are all my eyeshadow palettes that I have at the moment. that one later and then over here i have my setting spray this one is from um avon i bought it from i think it was 60 rand i really do love this especially if you have oily skin this is the best um eyeshadow setting, setting spray that you can ever use i also have another single eyeshadow i recently bought this from water and wild i haven't used it yet but then um it is I mean, like a shimmer black so i can't wait to use this and then this is a brow palette thingy um try and open it i bought it from avon as well i haven't used it in a while i mean right now at the moment i'm more into using brow pomades than using powders but then i still do love it so i'm just gonna keep i'm not gonna give it away or throw it and then here i have an eyebrow wax i got this from isabella garcia i honestly hardly use this but then i'm just gonna keep it who knows i might use it and then here i just have two more single eyeshadow i mean eyeshadows i got this from essence i have a brown one and a black one okay let's quickly put back everything um okay let me just remove that box yeah. okay okay the only thing i don't like about this drawer is that i cannot pull it all the way out so this is just how it stops stops stay in the middle so here in the back here i have a mirror also use this if i want like a close-up of my eyes if i'm doing my eyeshadow i have makeup remover wipes and then inside i just have other miscellaneous things i have my dirty blenders that i need to wash i have more of this applicators and i lash curler and my sharpener i also bought that sharpener from avon Okay. and then here this is my foundation and primer drawer yeah so um this one is from l'oreal maybelline that's a primer i love this primer i mean i have oily skin and this primer is the best i really do love it um i have the, another um foundation from wet and wild it is full coverage that's why i love it so much another one from yardley i use this one if i want like something more natural and just to have like an even skin tone base it's not really my favorite but i still do like it i have this mousse from essence i also love it um another favorite primer is this one from maybelline ever since i remember the first time i started using a primer this was the first primer i started using and i've never looked back i love this one so much another foundation from avon it is a full matte coverage foundation i also bought it from avon it was i think 120 if i'm not mistaken and here i have a bb cream which i hardly use i bought it for like 60 rand at avon as well and then moving over to the other side at the back um here at the back i keep all my eyelashes i don't have really, really a lot of lashes at the moment um i have these ones from essence um yeah, I bought it from Tekelot for 75 rand. Um, I also have these ones. These ones I haven't used as yet. I also bought them from Tekelot. And I have another eyeshadow palette. This was the very first eyeshadow palette I bought. So yeah, I hardly use it anymore, but then I don't want to throw it away. So yeah, I'm just keeping it over there just to remind me of where I come from. No, but the colors in this are very nice very nice neutral colors and also the metallics they are very nice and long lasting another one i think i bought these on on the same day i hardly use them anymore but then i'm just gonna keep them just for memories um i have my mascaras from essence i love this another one from 
essence this is my favorite one it really does give your lashes that um volume that you all love as girls i'm also gonna have another one this is from isabella garcia i love this so much um another brow thingy um i bought this from Murat. it shouldn't be there so i'm just gonna put it over there with the rest of the other ones it's in medium yeah i love it but i hardly use it anyway um i have an eyeliner i'm not really an eyeliner person there's also yeah i bought it like a while back and then this is my rotor dye okay this is a new one the one that i had was also i threw it away and it was disgusting um it's a lash and brow gel mascara thingy so i use this to prep my um lashes and my brow my brow hairs just so that the products that i apply on there apply much easier and they'll go on um quite easy and then here i have two of my favorites mascara not sorry not mascara eyelash glue okay this is the clear the clear one i hardly use this anymore because my favorite is this one i love the black one i love the black one because it gives my it gives that effect that i have applied um an eye gel, i mean an eyeliner so yeah that's why i love it so much okay put back everything in the and then here in this one here this is where i keep all my certain powders these two are from yardley um this one is the light one for i use it to highlight my face after applying um concealer this is the dark one it's not really dark dark but then it is a bit dark i use this after applying um primer just to mattify my face even more because i have oily skin so i just need something to give me that extra um I don't know how to say this but that extra thing so that my you know foundation looks a bit more full coverage even if it's not this yellow one um it's but it's in the color banana got it from avon and then this one i've got it from la girl this one is about to this one is about to finish but then i love it very much yeah from la girl okay and then here i have um a bronzer a bronzer kit is for face and body but then i don't like it i don't like using it for my face so i usually 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 use it on my body during like summer um i have a blush here from essence i have a bronzer over there from essence i have my concealers these are these two are from me but then i have color 50 and 55 i use color 50 for highlighting and for highlighting and i mostly use color 55 to um clean my brows because it is a very I mean, good color that's very close to my foundation shade i don't like using a light color to clean up my brows because it creates that halo effect which i don't like so i'd rather just use a color that's close to my foundation color and my other favorite concealer is this one from essence i recently bought this and yes i used it for the first time yesterday and i love it it is very full coverage and yeah it gives that natural effect and then i have this blush molten blush i got this from isabella garcia i love it so much because it creates that natural um bronzy no not bronzy effect it just gives you that natural um you know like yeah i just like how it looks on my face after applying it i mean it just makes it look like my cheeks i naturally that color so yeah that's why i love it so much i don't know how much it is though in the store because i got it um as part of my package and then here i have darker concealers that i use to contour um this one i bought it from this other shop from southgate it's called sweethearts i bought it like a white bag so I'm, I'm thinking it's a bit old and then my other favorite one is this one colors i got this one from foshini i love this so much as well because it's creamy and it's easy to blend okay we're almost done um here at the back i have all my gel nail polishes all of them i got them from clicks their essence i have my hand cream and then i have an extra setting spray this one hasn't been open yet i just have an extra one just in case you know i don't like running out of things like setting spray you know in the middle of the month and you know, i have to buy something that i didn't budget for and then the last section of my vanity it's here where i keep all my lipsticks i think yeah i have about 40 lipsticks that's a lot i mean 
yeah i think i am addicted to lipsticks but then this is why i keep all my lipsticks these three here i got them from identity oh no these ones are LA Girl. I hardly use this. They're very mattifying and they're drying to the lips. So I really don't like them that much. But then I still use them because of the colors. The colors are very beautiful. I got these ones from Identity as well. My favorite is this one. Um, it doesn't have a shade name. But it's like a plummy color. And then I have this one also from Identity. I love them. It's a pinkish nude color. I love it so much. And then all these ones over here. I got them from Avon. My favorite color. My favorite color. Let's see. Let me quickly show you my favorite color. My favorite color is this one. Um, Supreme. Supreme red. This color is. It's, it's amazing. It's a classic red color. That every woman loves. So let's just quickly show you. Now this is how it looks like. It's very smooth. It leaves your lips feeling very nice. You wear it the whole day. When I wear those, I hardly have to go back and retouch it. Yeah, I love lipsticks from Avon. Again, these three are also from Avon. My favorite one will have to be this pink color. Again, it lasts the whole day when you put it. Um, these two here are from Maybelline. Um, this nude one, I love this nude lipstick. Oh my god, this is the best nude lipstick I have at the moment. I got it from, let me see, Isabella Garcia as well. It was also part of the package that I got from my life insurance. Um, Here, I have, I don't know why I bought this one, but it's complicated. It's a color called, it's complicated. I love it very much. And my favorite colors from Essence are these two. Um, the brown, the brown colors. I have, oops, sorry, I have this one. It's a dark brown shade. And then I have, then I have this one as well. It's also a nice shade. This is my other second favorite lipstick that I have. Quickly open it so you can see how it looks like. I mean, wow, this lipstick, I love it so much. Yeah. So yeah. Also bought it from Essence. I think it was like 40, 40 rand somewhere around there. And then my favorite lip gloss of all time. Unfortunately, this was a limited edition colors um, collection. I love this um, lip gloss. It's very nice. And then, oh, this is a recent one that I bought. Um, I bought it from, I don't know how to pronounce this brand, but then I love it so much. It's red. I used it for the first time yesterday. It's very nice. It's long lasting. It lasts the whole day. And then, yeah, uh, I have other, other lipsticks that I bought from Edgar's and all that and yeah another gloss that i like is this one over here this one here from miss abella garcia i use this to prep my lips while i'm doing my while i'm doing my makeup before i apply lipstick so i just let it sit on my lips for like maybe 30 minutes before i put on my lipstick and then remove it afterwards it does really leave your lips feeling smooth and beautiful so yeah so let me just quickly give you another overview of how the drawers look on the inside yeah as i said before i don't really have a lot of makeup i mean i'm an average woman so i feel like this is enough for me to use on a daily basis and yes my collection is growing though so yeah but i, I love how my collection is at the moment my favorite drawers will have to be i think all the drawers here in front would be my favorite and for me to rank them according to order it will be one this is my one there will be two, the foundation drawer, the foundation and primer drawer. Um, there will have to be three, the eyeshadow drawer, and then four, the satin powder drawers. So yeah, this is where I am most of the time. You know, I try my best to keep it neat and clean, but then, you know what, it is a bit difficult to do that. But then I do try my best. That's what's important. And yeah, okay, I'm going to throw this away just to give you another quick overview i got this whole set again from home choice it was 3.8 i don't know if they still have it but i look on the website and link it below if i can find it if not then yeah there's nothing i can do about it i really do love the setup here on top i mean the brushes my brushes look really neatly packed over there oh and i forgot to show you over here i have some prints that i got from mr price home so once i have my new vanity it should be more situated here 
below the prints so that that's like the artwork session that i have so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember to subscribe and also like this video and i'll see you again bye